Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 5.1 calculating probabilities. 5.1 represents Chapter 5, Section 1 of the Pace in A Level Maths Applied Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section, which is basically key definitions. An experiment is a repeatable process that gives rise to a number of outcomes. An event is a collection of one or more outcomes. A sample space is a set of all possible outcomes. Let P represent probability. We know that p is more than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to 1. These are the key facts of 5.1 calculating probabilities. I'll be implementing these key facts within two exam style questions. Here is exam style question 1. Two coins are tossed. Find the probability of both coins showing the same outcome. Let's have a look at the solution to exam style question 1. The very first step is to draw a sample space diagram. This diagram includes all the possible outcomes of this experiment. If I toss a coin, there are two possible outcomes, head or tail. The diagram that I'm going to draw is for tossing two coins. Here is the sample space diagram. For the first coin, I can get head or I can get tail. For the second coin, in the same way, I can get head or I can get tail. The first possible outcome is head, head. The second possible outcome is head tail. Third possible outcome, tail head. And the final and the fourth possible outcome is tail tail. So there are four outcomes in total. The probability will be out of four. Find the probability of both coins showing the same outcome. Let's give the solution a structure. Let A, for simplicity, be the event both coins showing the same outcome. So the possibilities are head, head, tail, tail. The probability of A taking place, in other words, the probability of both coins showing the same outcome will be, there are two possible outcomes, head, head, tail, tail. So two out of a possible four outcomes. Ladies and gents, this is the answer and this completes exam style question 1. Moving on to exam style question 2. A fair six-sided dice is thrown at the same time as a fair four-sided dice. Calculate the probability that the product of the scores on the two dice is part A, 15, part B, even, and part C, greater than 10. Let's have a look at the solution. Like before, the very first step is to draw a sample space diagram, which includes all the possible outcomes for this experiment. Let's have a look at the sample space diagram. For the first six-sided dice, we have scores 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. These are the possible outcomes. For the fair four-sided dice, we have scores 1, 2, 3 and 4. These are the possible outcomes. We want to look at the product of the scores on the two dice. Multiplication. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, we have 2, 4, 6, 8. Then we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 4, 8, 12, 16, 5, 10, 15, 20, 6, 12, 18, 24. In this experiment, there are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 possible outcomes. Let's give the solution a structure. Let x be the product of the scores on the two dice. In part A, we want to work out probability x is equal 50. So we know that the probability is out of 24 and the product we want is 15. How many 15s are there? There's only one. So the probability that x is equal 15 is just 1 out of 24. In part b, we want the probability that x is even. Again, the probability is out of 24. How many even outcomes do we have? Let's have a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 
Hence, the probability is 18 out of 24. Let's move on to part C. Juice. Solid. Nice. Now, in part C, we want the probability that x is greater than 10. So we want all the scores that are greater than 10. Again, the probability is out of 24. Let's have a look at the scores that are greater than 10. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 out of 24. This completes exam study question 2 and this teaching video 5.1, Calculating Probabilities. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.